Scrub. Retold by me, Miss Nikki. There are three brothers who were strong and tough, who were known around town as the Billy Goat Scrub. They lived in the valley where the grass started to disappear, and the thought of no grass to eat filled them with fear. So they all decided to pack and leave and go somewhere else where the grass was green. They knew that there was a meadow not much further away. So the three brothers decided to go on a journey that day. They would not starve. No, they wouldn't do that. They would go to the meadow, eat, and get fat. But to get to the meadow, they had to cross a bridge. And underneath it was where an ugly troll lived. The troll was said to have big, stinky feet. With hair covering his body and long yellow teeth. They said when you saw him, his eyes popped out of his head. And when he yelled, he had the stinkiest breath. The Billy Goats decided to go and cross the bridge anyway. They knew they had to try or starving would be their fate. Along came the first Billy Goat, cute as can be. And with the sound of his cute little feet. Now the troll was sleeping until he heard a creaking sound. It was the bridge shaking and he started to frown. Up sprang the troll as fast as can be. Then he climbed up the bridge and he started to scream. Who's that trip trapping across my bridge? the billy goat walking his way. See, I'm going to the meadow. He tried to explain. You see, the grass in the valley is no longer there. It's dried up and withered, and the ground is bare. So, I'm going to the meadow to eat green grass and make myself fat. No, you're not! roared the troll, and he jumped up, ready to attack. Please, Mr. Trolley, don't eat me! He squealed. I'm little and skinny and won't be much of a meal. Why don't you wait for my brother? He's much fatter than me. He'll make a better dinner for you. Just wait and see. So the troll thought about what the little billy goat said. Decided to wait for the other brother instead. So the littlest Billy Goat went happily across and when he went straight to the meadow so he would not get lost. As the troll settled back down to his warm, comfy space, once again the bridge started to shake. The sound on the bridge was louder than before. more. Out sprang the troll, and as fast as can be, he climbed to the top of the bridge and he started to scream. Who's that trip jumping across my bridge? Who dare wake me up and expect to live? It is I, said the middle-sized Billy Goat Gruff. I'm going to the meadow to eat some lunch. I'm going to eat the green grass and make myself fat. No, you're not! roared the troll, ready to attack. The troll was pleased when he saw the middle-sized goat. He was fatter than the first one with a shinier coat. 
Oh please, Mr. Troll. It's not me you want to eat. You should wait for my brother. He's much fatter than me. So the troll thought about what middle-sized Billy Goat said. And he decided to wait for the other brother instead. The troll crouched down under the bridge and settled back down. And before you know it, he was awakened by a thunderous sound. The bridge shaved and it rocked like never before in his life. And he knew he was in for a pretty big fight. Trap, 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 trap was the sound that filled the air. And the troll heard a loud voice that said, Stop me if you dare. The troll thought to himself, Someone is teasing and taunting me. The troll was not amused about this, nor was he pleased. Who that trip jacket across my bridge with such an eye? It is me, said the great Billy Goat Gruff with such courage. Me, said the troll. And who might you be? I'm great Billy Goat Gruff. You heard me. Sprang the troll on the bridge fast like lightning. His hair was standing on it, and he looked frightening. The ugly troll screamed with all of his might. You won't cross this bridge without a fight. The troll stood there, and the two were face to face. And the third Billy Goat started to back away. That's what I thought, said the troll with a grin. You give up, and that means I win. The troll turned his back, ready to celebrate his victory. Just then, the Billy Goat charged him, who had full speed. The Billy Goat grabbed and slammed him right in his back. And over the bridge, truly went with a big then the third Billy Goat went to the meadow without any fear. And when he saw his brothers coming, he started to cheer. The tall green grass was everywhere and surrounded their vision. And the three brothers knew right then that they had made the right decision. Will they ever have to search for food? The grass was green, healthy, and it tasted pretty good. So they ate, got fat, they romped, and they played. And do you know what? They are still there to this very day. The end.